Don't take my smiles for being weak or too lovey-dovey and cushy-cushy and because I'm not that way. Yes. Because at the end of the day, shit ain't adding up and it's time to have that awkward conversation about rappers and how they infiltrated something that wasn't even theirs to begin with. You know what I feel like? I feel like that parent that left you the house for the weekend and you think, I don't know, that you threw a fucking party over the weekend just because you cleaned it up on time because I put a hidden camera in there because you left evidence. Why my vase broken? Because I did laundry before I left. And now that I'm back, I have a new set of sheets on my bed. I didn't lay this out. And why my jacuzzi don't fucking work? You know, because you can't say talent doesn't matter and talent ain't enough and then complain about why you're not recouping from certain rappers when in fact the whole reason a lot of people feel like they could talk about certain shit is because they feel like they could find talent because everybody got the numbers right but the truth is a lot of people are just getting into entertainment just because of the way it looks not because they're actually talented because a lot of people are getting dropped now because now rappers are getting fined for buying fake views and getting signed off of it and and they're done wasting their money on people so in order to bring order back into music to bring it to a better place we need to stop disrespecting the very reason why you feel like you can get somebody numbers because it's because of talent you know because, yes, you saying, oh, talent don't matter, ain't enough. It's like saying God's anointing ain't enough. Because the truth is, when you have that type of anointing, you don't feel like you have to work too much. You don't feel like you got to do. You feel like off, off one rip, people already know. And they do. But you still have to show that you want to be here. And everybody has to prove that these days. And that's why God's anointing, you know, really being gifted, really being born with certain shit without having to work for it. It does come with being able to call certain shots in a certain way because, yeah, you can bring the numbers, but you can't do it, though. You know what I'm talking about? Like having a certain type of gift it comes with authority you know beyonce can definitely jump into country and take over the whole thing you know every time chris brown does something wrong here comes some celebrity writing a thing piece about why we forgive him you know summer walker don't like a lot of people but i'm always going to be waiting for her you know i don't care what nobody has to say about that you know it's like you don't you you separate it because you know you it's that gift is that anointing and it's truly not that deep for a lot of people because it doesn't belong to them because me telling y'all rappers about you for real because the bitch you did a feature with won't <laughs> i'm actually standing for something like because i'm actually talented enough to be like step it the fuck up because when you stand for something you don't fall for the bullshit and when you stand on real you see through the bullshit because this the entertainment industry is very superficial it's about what you're wearing da -da -da whatever you how much it is but it's also very very spiritual you know what i mean because in entertainment a lot of this shit is bigger than having an expensive chain or a million dollar home you know people see who you are going to become in the future and will pay certain people to send energies your way to stop you and you have to know how to navigate that spell work you know what I'm saying? Why? Because you have a gift. And when you have a gift, you have to protect your magic by becoming a magician. And then when things get too deep for y'all, y'all want to call it the devil because you're not a real magician. I mean, a musician. Because there is the art side, the talent side, the gift, the very reason it re everything revolves around it. And then, yeah, there's the business side. But then there's the spiritual side that you have to know how to protect and cleanse yourself from before we start talking about rituals that y'all don't really know about why people have to do certain things. And we just have to point out the fact that a lot of rappers just want to be the face of something. They're not actually focused 
on bringing value, on really being valuable to entertainment. Only for them, the fakers, to have you thinking like, oh no, what you're anointing isn't enough? Yeah, God is not pleased. Now everybody calling on him now. It was my man, my man, my man last year. Now it's my God, my God this year. You see, it's the real, it's the year of the revealance and the revealance is you niggas and you rap bitches ain't shit anyway. Fuck. Cause at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck to work with none of you bitches from the last 10 years that much. I'm better than all you hoes. And at the end of the day, I'm a real artiste. I can be on stage, behind the stage, give you ideas, work for you, work behind you. It's bigger than just being the face when you're a real artist. The anointing is the whole reason why you're so obsessed to be a part of it. Why you're so obsessed to, yeah, I can get you numbers. I can get you here. It's just the truth. You know, 